Hello everyone, welcome back to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorials. Slide Hunt provides free video tutorials on programming languages. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appears at bottom right corner. Or you can visit my YouTube channel by typing www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. Okay, let's back to our topic. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you type def in C. Here we learn what is type def and how we can use it in our program. We use type def to rename our data type. Using type def, we can't create a new data type. We just give a new name to the existing data type. And the syntax is first write the QR type def, then write the data type and then type the new name for that data type. This is the syntax for type def. To get it more clearly, let's see a programming example. Here we use type def to give a new name for the data type float. So I am going to write here type def, then data type that is float, and then write the new name for the data type float. I am going to write here ft. When compiler execute this statement, it understands that ft is a new name for the data type float. Next, when we create a variable, we will use ft instead of float. Here, I am going to create a variable ft and then write the variable name, let's say price. Next, we assign some values to this variable price price equal to 125.50 then we printed out the value to the screen so I'm going to write here print f price equal to percent f and here price let us check the output compile and run as you can see here it print price equal to 125.50 Next thing is, what is the advantage of using typedef? Typedef provides a short and meaningful way to call a data type. Usually, uppercase letters are used to make it clear that we are dealing with a renamed data types. But it is not mandatory. If you want, you can use lowercase also. Typedef can be significant when the name of a particular data type is long. For example, here we use the data type unsigned long int. The data type is too long. For this, we use a type def to provide a short and meaningful way to call this data type. So I am going to write here type def unsigned long int and then write the new name, let's say sort. Next I am going to create a variable, sort pages. Assign some values to this variable, pages equal to 257. Inside the pin tape, I am going to add here a tab, and then pages equal to percent %d, and here pages. Okay, let us run the program. You can see here it print price equal to 125.50 and pages equal to 257. Another thing is we can also give a new name to this variable sort. For that I am going to write here type def, then sort and then type the new name. Let's say new. So now new is another name for sort. Actually it is another name for the data type unsigned long int. Now we use here new instead of sort. This is it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it and click on the like button. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Get in touch with us. Visit us on YouTube at youtube.com slash slide hunt. 
join us on facebook at facebook.com/slidehunt follow us on twitter and google plus